This is a video that I feel needs no introduction. I've delved into the Undertale soundtrack a few times on this channel, and now we're gonna do it again. Oh, are you are you wondering why I'm suddenly wearing glasses? Well, before we start, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor, GlassesUSA.com. GlassesUSA.com cuts out the middleman, and because of that, they're able to offer over 10,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses, with in-house brands ranging from Muse to Amelia E, and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Oakley, and a bunch more, all for up to 70% off retail prices. If you are like me, though, you might get a little bit nervous when you buy things like glasses online. I even get the same way about clothes. I get anxious they won't be quite what I want or suit me how I'd hoped they would. However, GlassesUSA.com offers a risk-free shopping experience with both free shipping and returns and a 100% money back guarantee within 14 days. If you're so inclined, it's also a great place to stock up and save on contact lenses. You get 25% off all contact lens brands over there like Vista Plus, AccuView, Biofinity, and many more. One thing I do tend to struggle with is getting absolutely overwhelmed by choice. And personally, it can feel impossible to narrow that down. GlassesUSA.com even has a quiz you can take. It only takes about a minute and it suggests the right glasses for you based on your face shape as well as your needs. The other amazing way to help your choice is to use their virtual try-on tool. You can take a photo and upload it and then the website will give you an idea of how you look with each pair of glasses. Since I don't personally have a prescription, I got myself these Muse Amity sunglasses. I even went ahead and got polarized lenses because those absolutely kick ass. And the ones I'm wearing are the Otto Olympian frames. I would love to hear your thoughts about glasses, Matthew, in the comments. However, when partnering with Glasses USA, I wanted to make sure that the quality was there in all facets. So on the other hand, my partner got these ones. They are the Otto Copperfield glasses. They are prescription lenses, and I don't know if it tells you anything, but she's actually been opting to wear those more than the initial glasses she got from the optometrist. So for your next pair of glasses, make sure to head down below and click my unique link in the description. GlassesUSA.com has been amazing to work with, and I would love for you to go check them out and see what they're all about. The first track has an absolutely fabulous, amazing, wonderful title. And I gotta be real, it's the main reason I included it in this video. It's called, Can You Really Call this a hotel, I didn't receive a mint on my pillow. I didn't even know where or what this is in reference to, but I like it. I don't know, Toriel's house? <laughs> Imagine being ungrateful to Toriel. Imagine killing Toriel. You know who did that? Good choice, it's so funky. Look, I really like this but I have to say as well, it's nice to finally find an accurate representation of the elevator music that plays in my head when I am full empty head and have no idea what's going on. It's just... <laughs> oh, I recognize this melody. I do like the way they just constantly mix up melodies, bring them in and refresh them in different ways. Honestly, every time I do these videos, I forget how happy the soundtrack makes me. Dude, they're even doing little trills on those notes. It's kind of bringing it up and down. And I know that people make jokes about how Toby just used the same melody and it's pretty much like writing one big song for the soundtrack. But I don't necessarily agree because the way that he mixes up those melodies and makes them into something different is almost more impressive that they sound like unique, independent songs. Why is this making me think I'm like on a farm? Oh, but genuinely, I can imagine myself caring for animals and harvesting crops. Why is Undertale making me feel like I'm playing Stardew Valley? Man, I haven't played Stardew Valley in a while. I went through a phase where I just did not stop playing it for like literally weeks. Stardew Valley goes through the same sort of thing as Minecraft as me, where I just get obsessed with it for a really short period of time and then don't touch it again until, until I do. And the cycle repeats. I actually have a feeling that I have heard the next track because if it is for the boss that I suspect, I've gotten past this. This one is called Ghost Fight and I'm gonna, you know, go out on a wild limb here and assume it's where you fight the ghost one. Oh yeah, I've definitely heard this. I stand by a point that I've made before. I think it's very impressive how well written all of this is, but Undertale has no right at all. A cutesy little game should not have so much slappage in the soundtrack, let alone when the soundtrack is for you fighting a little ghost guy called Naps the Blue. Why is the bass hit so hard? Make it make sense. Yeah, I, I didn't pay this much attention to the music when I was fighting him because I was desperately trying to dodge his attacks.
I love the way the bass track falls down. Like sometimes with bass riffs, they have that repetitive bounce, but I like the choice to kind of go It really gives it this rise and fall. Oh, nice little change up. Still seriously makes me way too happy. Oh, I know that that was a short little one again and that I'd said I'd done that fight But I just put that in there for a little treat for myself. That was nice It really is interesting sometimes to get to hear that from a different perspective because like I said I was not paying attention to the music when I was doing that fight because I don't know if you all know I'm awful at Undertale fights. I can't dodge any of the attacks to save my life literally So instead getting to sit back and be like yeah I'm just gonna listen to this and not worry about dying to the spooky ghost lets me hear so many more elements The next track also has a name that I love it's less in the silly vein like the hotel one and more in the over-the-top intense vein. It's called Spear of Justice Okay, that's certainly a loud intense hit I am all in I love this To be fair, I haven't really been paying attention that much to the time signatures of the other songs, but this one isn't 4-4. Four, four. It sounds like it's in 6-8, which is a time signature that really helps give a swaying feel. Even when you have these like harsh stabs coming through, it makes it a fair bit more like... wishy-washy? <laughs> Does that make sense? Is that just really deep piano under there? That was really interesting. It kind of faded out and then came back in. Did my ears deceive me? I need to go back a second. That's a, that's a strange technique, but I like it. Trumpet me up, baby. That sounded like Austin Powers. <laughs> Trumpet me up, baby. It's really cool how some of those note runs cut off a little bit earlier than you'd expect. For me, it really adds to its unpredictable nature. It does kind of feel like a justified battle theme. I don't know, like the good guy army charging into war. Love this little breakdown section. Not the sound I thought I would get there. Is it gonna hit back in? How much long do we have? Oh, it's almost over. No. Of course it ends that way. It started with those really harsh hits of all the instruments. And of course, that's how it's gotta end with just this Bang! <laughs> songs over folks. I assume that Toby Fox put quite a bit of thought into how the songs would start and end when he was writing these Because as you all have told me they're intended to loop around which means you'd want the beginning and the end to sound quite similar So to me that just makes managing to have this whole journey and variance in sound in the middle of that Knowing you have to get back to a very similar spot even more impressive. The next track is called waterfall I added this to the playlist without even thinking but if this is in that map where I mean there's there's like a waterfall I think just past where Sans is in that little stall he has, then I probably heard this on that map. But as with Ghost Fight, I am so keen to hear it independently. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is gonna be a, like a spiritual experience for me, isn't it? Yo! It's so pretty. Hope you all don't mind me just sitting here, closing my eyes, kicking back and relaxing. Oh, is it gonna hit? Oh, with soft piano. That is super pretty. I like that we can go from the intensity of the last one to just the absolute relaxation of this. Oh no, string. Oh. That. The bends on them, the bends on the notes. Oh. It's not even like sad or anything, it's just got this emotional weight to it somehow. I love the way those strings are bending the notes, man. It's... And it's such a great contrast. 
No, it's over. I was living. Oh, I need like a four hour loop of that. Just have it playing constantly as my background music, my lord. As I was saying, I love the range and variety that we get with this soundtrack. It's crazy. And honestly, it speaks so much to Toby's talent. I think there should be a roof to how much one person is able to do because it makes all the rest of us feel like plebs. The next one is called Last Goodbye. I'm expecting sad, but also knowing Undertale, they could just turn that around on me. Hype. <laughs> Not sad at all. Although I could imagine it being sad if they do like a slow down in the middle. Who knew? Who knew that I needed like a punk rock version of the Undertale theme? Man, I don't think I've listened to this before, but I feel like there was another like guitar and drum heavy track from this soundtrack that we listened to. I can't for the life of me remember, but maybe one of y'all will. Oh. Okay, I definitely haven't heard this because I would have remembered this. That's the slowdown I was talking about. It's so beautiful. And it does sound sad. I thought they were gonna go half time. I would have lived for that. Solo away. I don't even care. Shred, my friend. <laughs> what a cool way to end it out. Lingering notes, man. And a ship down. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get hit with one more chord there just to really hit home on that. But I like where it was left off because the chord choice that it ended on is one of those chords that's really just begging for another chord after it. And instead of delivering on that, leaving it to just hang, just gives this sense of longing. Like I need something, it's missing. It's a great way to hammer home that emotional point. So the last one we're gonna listen to in this video is called Finale, which I thought was fitting, putting it at the end. Also not what I was expecting. I thought we'd get really sad here. Whoa. Very strange chord choice. That's so weird. Maybe someone more well-versed than me will be able to tell me, but that chord and those notes on top of it didn't feel right. Like I know it's intentional and it's definitely a technique, but I'm not quite sure what to call it. I think it was in key. I think it was right. It just sounded wrong. Were they just detuned? Tell me. So we're back on the hype train. All right. It almost sounds like it changes key for like two bars. We're really being spoilt with different instruments this video. I love those bells that are really softly in the background. Still, they're still adding on it. Just adding more into those trills. I wonder if they're gonna fully run it at the end. Oh, <laughs> never mind, that was the end. That was a fascinating track. There was so much in there that I didn't quite understand what they were doing, but also absolutely loved. It sounded so strange, but just worked overall. My final thought in this video is to say, isn't it wonderful that after four videos of reacting to Undertale soundtrack songs, I'm still surprised every time. I feel like I can never know for certain where a track is going, what sound it's gonna hit me with. I hear something called Finale and I'm like, yeah, we're gonna get some nice slow piano. Nope, just gonna be a hype bop. And the one before, I don't think I would have ever seen electric guitar coming, let alone one that had a solo. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just stupid. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check out glassesusa.com in the description. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.